Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I haven't vlogged, I didn't vlog last week, so I feel like I haven't spoken to you in forever. Um, I hate missing vlogs, but honestly, I, I know I keep saying it, but life is just very, very mundane right now. I'm like, there's literally nothing going on other than like being at home, filming reels, eating healthy, trying to eat healthy going on a dog walk and i just feel like it's not fun for you guys to watch the, like i don't mind i don't mind like the occasional super at home vlog or i don't mind at home vlogs at all but it's just right now there's absolutely no variation in them at all and i just feel like they're just not i don't know it's not the vibe so um yeah anyway but this week it's already thursday and it's a bank holiday it's a lovely spring day outside not <laughs> it's literally pouring down i am actually up in London. I'm on my old road. It always feels funny parking here. Um, I know she sat across from it and they've got shutters in the lounge now which is nice. Before remember we had like a little linen curtain. <laughs> um, but yeah they've got shutters up. So yeah I'm, I'm in London because I have a meeting this morning with a fashion brand and just a little coffee and then I have an H&M showroom appointment and by the way this is my car powder it's the Givenchy Prism Libre in the shade 2 it's like all nice you probably won't be able to see nice neutral colours and I just have it as my car powder but it's so good so every time I use it I absolutely love it so I'm going to take this inside when I get home tonight so yeah meeting and then I have a showroom appointment with H&M so that'll be nice to see some of the spring new season have a little look around there and then head home. I think my first meeting is going to end and give me like an hour to kill. Um, so I was planning to just kind of wander up and down um, Oxford Street and have a little look at shops, but it's absolutely pouring down. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll see. It's a bank holiday, so it's a four day week, then it's a four day weekend, and then it's another four day week, which really doesn't make much of a difference in um, like when I'm working from like being self-employed and doing this job. Um, but it still feels nice. It'd be really, really nice if it was a nice sunny weekend. I think Johnny and I are going to head out on Saturday and do a lunch. We're thinking Limewood. Then um, on the Sunday, we're going out with Johnny's family somewhere, I think. So, yeah, quite a social weekend. And then I also also have just ordered the first lot of packing boxes. So, I'm, I mean, we've got a while until we move. But I don't want... I just want to start. I just want to get start packing up where I can, start decluttering. I'm about to do the most almighty clear out of my actual life. Like, I am determined to get rid of literally 50% of my stuff. Like, I just have so much clothes that I just don't get love. And I've, I've known I've been doing that, like, I've done a few clear outs actually over the last like six months. But even since then, there's things that I kept in those clear outs that I've just not touched. So I'm gonna be seriously cutthroat. Um, and just get rid of everything that I can. Also have some cute bits to share with you. I've been doing quite a bit of ordering for spring. Um, not like high spring, but just, you know, getting some nice and more summery bits in. I'm actually completely dressed for spring today and it's pouring down, like I said. But I've got my little YSL pumps on, which by the way, if you love, I just saw, um, who was it? Oh my God, I literally don't know. I, one of the girls I follow on Instagram picked them up at Bistro the other day. So if you like them and you're in England, they're at Bistro. I don't know how much for. weather swept I got caught in the rain um but I did a little shop in Mango and went to Zara went to H&M and now I'm in the H&M showroom it's so nice I love it in here I haven't been for a while this is what it looks like I've got all of their new I think it's called spring something spring capsule which launched today so anything I show you should be online um if it's not gone out of stock by the time this goes live so obsessed with this I feel like you guys are going to be very marmite on that is that cute? 
I think that's so cute. <laughs> um, also, lots of silver coming through at the minute, isn't there? I've seen that quite a lot. It's definitely not my vibe, but um, yeah, some really nice bits. Can't wait until we can wear dresses like this, little denim jacket, little waistcoat. I've had a dress like this from H&M for literally like six years. This I've seen online loads. It's got these big um, detail sleeves, which I think are so pretty. Also have spied this, which I think is gorgeous. It's a little strapless linen piece. I'm gonna go around and grab some bits and bobs. I'm trying to look cute. Let me just show you how pretty this is. Isn't it so nice? My feet, honestly, just got absolutely drenched in that rain. Um, and then this is where I'm gonna try on all my bits. And this looks like Okay, it's bad lighting. This looks like the most stunning bridal, like, hen party or evening before. It's so heavy. The detail is stunning. So it's like a little midi skirt, and then it's got a skirt underneath it. Oh, a line of skirt, and then this is open, which is so pretty. And then the matching top. The quality is insane. It's so, so heavy. But isn't that so pretty? For a little, like, hen party evening before. Look at that. And then... More of a hen, hen party vibe, but I saw this skirt. I mean, actually, this is just for anything, but it's actually like a little bridal moment. Like, how cute is that? I've got wedding in my head because of my sister, but <laughs> so pretty. And then this bag, which I know you're all going to absolutely love. That looks so expensive. Linen and then um, brown leather trim. Look at that. How nice is that? Oh my god, I love it. Okay, these jeans are a little bit big, but actually they're not big. I mean, they're fine with a belt, but how nice are the shape of them with a pair of heels? I have no balance today, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, I also love the colour of them, they're just so nice. And then this shirt is so cute, like look at the sleeves. I definitely don't need another white shirt, but if I was going on holiday soon, I would be buying this. And this bag is same material, yeah, same materials as the big tote I just showed you, but in like the smaller version. I am obsessed with this dress. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's giving angel vibes. It's linen. Um, kind of has this like stripe stitch detail. Stripe stitch? Whatever. Frilly neck and it's got an underskirt. It's actually quite, I mean, it's not quite long, but it's a bit too long on me. So I've just popped on my Loewe belt, which I would probably do something a bit thinner. But how cute is this on holiday with like, well you could do heels, but I would do like flat tan sandals, that big tote that I just showed you. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm not a strapless girl, but this with either jeans like I'm wearing and a pair of heels or with some like white shorts on holiday, I think would be so cute. This is a size medium and actually like I couldn't have worn a small, so bear that in mind. Um, I'm like a UK 8 in tops and it has this little rubber lining around the top so it stops it from slipping down which is nice. But I just think that's so cute. Okay this is going to be absolute marmite but I am obsessed. I've got a belt on because it's a bit big so I don't know does the belt look cute? Maybe if I did the tan side. Um, yeah but I think I might need to take a size down in this dress but I'm obsessed like it's just so cute. It feels very like vintage. Um, the denim is beautiful, it's not super thick but it's also not super thin and it's got a nice like movement to it. It's just a great throw on summer dress. I feel like if it was just one size down it would be a little bit more slimline like this. Hello guys, it's the next day. I am in a bit of a rush, I'm just heading out for some lunch. But I want to show you my outfit before I leave. Easter weekend so I thought it'd be nice to get a little bit dressed up. I also haven't been to Limewood in so long. I'm excited to go and have some lunch. There wasn't any like space in the proper restaurants we're sitting at the bar but it's fine um so this is what i'm wearing these trousers are from river island years and years ago but they are so good um but reese have a very similar pair and then knit or little jumpers from misguided also years ago and then this jacket i just got the other day i got quite a few well not quite a few bits but i got a couple bits in london yesterday yeah this is one of the things that i got which i thought was so cute i love a little jacket like this um i have a few like, i've got black ones and camel ones but the ones with more of these neutral tones are more blue toned whereas this one is fully like brown gold cream i think it's so pretty especially paired with all neutral so i'm gonna wear my chloe trainers and my ysl mini cassandra of course <laughs> And I need to go and find my rings and then we're ready to go. So, yes, I'll chat.
to you in a minute. Traffic has been terrible. We're gonna be late. But this is the new forest. We're gonna be early because we rang them. Oh yeah, we rang them and told them we'd be 20 minutes late, so technically we're gonna be early. <laughs> so this is the new forest road, is that what you say? New Forest Road. Yeah, we're in the New Forest. I just love them. Like, I just think, isn't that so cool? I'm just to <laughs> I, and there's a little, can you see the horse? You get horses, you get Highland cows. You don't get Highland cows. I promise you, you do. Do they, you? Yeah, the proper there, so you used to roam around and you have to be careful because. Look! They scratch can people's cars. <laughs> you fucking drinking that. Delicious lunch. Done. All three gorgeous. I didn't want to speak to you because I was so busy. But um, I don't think I've ever felt so full in my life. Also, my new favourite dessert is a big Alaska. Did you enjoy it? Very, very good. I had seven tequilas and now I feel a little bit. Little no, bit, you had. Uh, <laughs> I had like four, four tequilas. Four tequilas. Oh. And a glass of wine. Yep. Now we're going to play again, Paul, if it's free. I'm on driving duty, so no alcohol for me. Actually, I've been dry since. New Year's Eve. It's good going. Just beating Johnny at game of pool. Well, you know, one, because <laughs> your stripes and arms And two, why why did you pick up the hammer? Literally, like, when I have nothing on. <laughs> Nothing's going in, guys. Like, no one needs to see any of this. Oh, I used to. Come on now, this small pocket. <laughs> been a really social one so I'm quite tired um, but we were out all day yesterday with Johnny's family so I didn't film much I, I don't think I filmed anything actually it's half seven in the morning and I'm going out to see Liv for a coffee so that'd be nice it'll end the Easter weekend a scarlet jacket love it I've got a little Reese hoodie underneath I have blue lemon leggings and then some beiges on and I'm gonna go and grab a coffee and probably a croissant I thought God, I was so tired <laughs> showing you what I picked up in London the other day. Um, H&M showroom had so many nice bits which I showed you but not much of it was online or in stock. Um, I was told that everything would be online and ready to shop but I went on to link some bits for you guys that night. It was like, I can only find like three pieces. Um, and then even I only ended up coming home with one dress, the linen like kind of fairy dress. Um, because nothing else is in my size, which is a bit annoying. But I also went and did a little bit of shopping. So I thought I'd show you what I picked up. First of all, in H&M, you know the black jeans that I've been wearing? I think I showed you them in the last vlog. I love them, they're like wide leg raw hem. Um, I missed out on the cream ones online, so I thought I'd pop in store and see if they had them, and they did. But, oh, I've already got them dirty, typical. Um, but the fit is just, I mean, I've already ripped the tags off because I thought they were going to be the exact same, but the fit is just a bit different. Like, they're, they feel more like a mid-rise than a high-rise. Um, and they're just a bit more boxy and not as flattering as the black ones. Maybe I needed to size up in the white ones, actually. Um, but yeah, I got them in a size 6, same as the black, but just, they fit different. I still like them, still going to keep them. I have to, I've ripped the tags off. And I've styled them up in a few different ways. They're just not as good as the black ones. Also really love that they're like an off white, like they are nice and bright, but they're also not like a stark white. They're definitely a cream. And the stitching is like a really light camel or like tan or like beige actually. I went to Mango and it's not often. Mango is like the same as H&M for me. Like online, I love it. In store, I can't get on board. But um, they had some really good bits. First of all, this little tank top that I'm wearing, I think this is so cute. They did it in the reverse colour, so they did it in black with a white trim, but I didn't like Actually, did I show you? Yeah, I did show you some of the stuff. Um, so yeah, I picked up this one, which I think is so cute. 
And I also picked up this one. Love the fact that it's like a full on knitted, feels quite summery tank. Um, but also really like the colour of it. Obviously this one is white and sometimes you just need something a bit softer. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Again, I have already styled up and worn it. And then the last thing I got was that little jacket, which is so cute. Good job I found it in store because had I seen it, I went to link it online already for you guys. And it's really not cute on online, but it's so cute in person. So I feel like, yeah, I'm glad I saw it in the store, but I love this. Um, I just love the tones. Have I already worn this? I did, I wore it that day and spoke through it. Um, but yeah, really happy with that as well. So yeah, Mango's got some good bits. I feel like the shots are definitely out of their like awkward in between season phase. Okay, then I bought, did some online shopping and I've had some bits sent to me, so I thought we could go through that. These are two pairs of silk trousers from Stories. I just thought they would be perfect for um, the summer. One in the chocolate brown and one in like a beige color. Um, this is what they look like. They're really nice, soft, soft and silky. Um, and yeah, I thought they were so cute. I'm thinking these ones with like a brown knit for like the colder days, brown oversized knit, gold chain necklace, and then trainers or like pointed pumps. And then this was the other color, which actually now that it's here, I don't like, I think I might send these back. These are like silver, whereas I thought they were like a beige. And I'm not a silver girly. No, I think I'll send these ones back. I'm not going to wear them. Next, as a bag from Demelier, which I'm very excited about. I've never actually had a bag from there before. I feel like they are the same vibe as, um, like, Polen, where they've got beautiful, beautiful bags. Like, Polen and Songmon, that kind of vibe. Gorgeous leathers and beautiful bags and craftsmanship, but also not thousands of pounds. Beautiful packaging and that's so nice imagine that as a gift for someone i picked um a bag from their new collection the new summer collection or maybe it was like the summer lookbook i'm not sure um but oh my god i fell in love i feel like you guys are gonna also absolutely love it also comes in dust bag oh my god it's so nice isn't that so nice <laughs> oh it's so pretty okay let me just take all the protective bits off. So, so obviously I have my Palen little tan one, but it's quite a casual bag, that one. Um, it's also, I, I love it, but it's definitely more of a casual bag, holiday evening bag. This one I felt also would do holiday evenings, but it's just a little, it feels a little bit more dressed up because obviously it's quite structured. It's got the top handle, the braided top handle, which I absolutely fell in love with. Um, this big, gorgeous gold clasp, it just feels beautiful they did this in a few different colors so it opens like this and then it's one actually quite a spacious compartment in there which i didn't expect yeah also comes with the crossbody strap but yeah that compartment is very spacious like you'll get your phone makeup keys cards battery pack even a little tripod in there for sure so yeah very very happy with this this actually was sent to me this is from loving tan they have just released a new um I'm really annoyed, I just literally scrubbed off all my tan yesterday and put on a fresh layer this morning. And had I opened this, I would have tried these. Um, but if I'm not wrong, have they just launched a pure, I think they've launched a purity range. Do you know what, I wanna get the email up so I can be sure about this. It's called the Purist Collection. It contains 97% certified organic and naturally derived ingredients which is incredible. It really caught my eye because obviously going through IVF, I mean, I've changed so much, but the one thing I haven't really changed is like the products that I use, like in the shower or I, mean, I don't use retinol and I don't use, um, what else? There's another thing I don't use. Oh, I can't remember now, but there's like certain things I've switched out from my skincare routine, but actually like putting things on my body, I'm not that anal about it, but this did really interest me and it's an Australian brand and the Australians have the best fake tans. I'm excited to try this out. I will try it out for you or with you this or in the next vlog. Oh, I have some lovely bits from YSL Beauty. Look at that light. Let's try this one. I'm really into like a coral brush, blush coral lip. This one is in the shade 150. Yeah, this feels the same. Isn't that nice? That was in the shade Nude Lingerie 150. 
that's so pretty. Okay, this is a perfume from my absolute favourite perfume brand in this world, Parfum de Moelle. That's a bold statement, knowing me, with my hundreds of thousands of perfumes, but trust me, oh, Parfum de Moelle Delina exclusive is just elite. There is no perfume. It took me, I kind of, I used to go like in and out with it, like would be obsessed with it, and then I would kind of go back to something else. But right now, it is just, it's because it's coming into spring, it's just the best perfume it's if you want to smell like you've got money and you're like put together and you are classy and you're a woman and you're feminine and all those things you need to go and smell that perfume because it is just oh, it's so good this is their newest launch and it's called per oh, i'm bad at saying these words guys <laughs> is it persus smells so good. <laughs> I've never smelled anything like that before. Like instantly you get like pure citrus orange and then it kind of goes into like a like a tropical but not not in a weird sweet way. The top notes are bergamot, grapefruit, blackcurrant, heart notes or vetiver, green mandarin and geranium. <coughs> geranium and the base notes are dry woods, cashmere wood and amber grease accord. Best time to wear in the morning for a boost of energy to last an entire summer stay. That is exactly the right way to describe it. Like if you put that on, you're gonna smell like clean and fresh and like awake and ready for the day. So that is beautiful. But my goodness, what a stunning box from the Elizabeth Arden team. This is Dalesford organic box. Hey, do you know what? I'm gonna take this downstairs and show you because I feel like it's gonna be quite messy. And I've just taken a picture for Instagram. <laughs> So if any of you've been on my stories today, you'll see this. But honeycomb Easter egg, which honestly just sounds incredible. Rosé Frizzante, which is my absolute number one drink of choice. Not that I'm drinking right now, but this can be stored away for, well, who knows when. <laughs> then I have some products as well. This is a Lift and Firm Day Cream, which I don't know if I've got this one, you know. I do use the Lift and Firm day cream but I don't think it's the advanced ceramide one I'll have to check and then also the eye cream which I'm actually really excited to give this one a shot so obviously I was using the retinol capsules and the retinol um an HPA cream and the retinol eye cream and honestly my skin looked insane like it was just the best combination of products for me I then had a lot of you girls telling me like you can't use that right now um, so I had to come off of it and it's been fine. I've just gone back to like my usual skincare, which is also amazing. But I have just really noticed not having that retinol. Like it just brightened and lightened my skin so much. It just looked so good. So anyway, this I'm excited to try because this is another eye cream from Elizabeth Arden, obviously. Um, I'm pretty sure it's safe to use. I'm, I can't see why not, but I'll do a little bit of Googling and I'll let you know in... Oh... This is eye serum. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I'm very confused. I thought it was eye cream, but I've just seen it says 60 capsules. So it must be an eye serum. I mean, it is an eye serum. Oh, are these new? Look at that, little tiny mini baby capsules. <laughs> How cute. Oh my goodness. He's new. I'm very excited to try that anyway because I was really, really enjoying that three-step process from Elizabeth Arden and then I had to stop. So yeah, I'm excited to try some new bits again. Um, right, anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Sorry this has taken me. Well, actually, you didn't even get a vlog last week, did you? <laughs> and it's now Tuesday. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will, look at this little boy. You are a spoiled little pig. You are a spoiled little pig. You so are. I will see you guys on the next video. I think that will be on Sunday and back to my schedule. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Anything I showed you will be linked below. I hope some of that H&M stuff is online now um, so I can link it for you. And come back next week because we're going to try out the tan. What else are we going to do? I think that's it. Try out the tab, I've got some new makeup to show you, <laughs> and the usual. Um, okay, right, anyway, bye girlies, thank you for watching, <laughs> I'll see you next week. Why did that take me literally five minutes to outro? <laughs>